so uh, his performance testing using postman so postman we everybody know correct it's a day to day tool okay uh, so normally postman get used to uh, hit any particular api to get post or for normal testing you can say correct so if you have a particular api you can you get it for as a curl or uh, as any type of uh, query and you can import it in the postman and run it okay i think this is the basic use that everyone does with postman okay now we'll just go a little bit uh, next step uh, postman has i think before 6 months postman introduced uh, this uh, uh, performance uh, testing inside it okay and uh, uh, i think uh, uh, it's a totally codeless performance testing okay obviously if you want to go for a script and all okay money is uh, give a great, great uh, uh, session on that thing okay k6 is great okay but if you are lazy <laughs> Okay, and if you just do things very quickly, okay, see how your particular API is performing whenever you're getting it from the uh, developer, okay, then you can go for it, okay, and um, yeah, so today, okay, so anyone is there who can uh, be a volunteer and uh, do it, or you want me to continue, I'll uh, recommend a volunteer, it will be great. Anyone? Anyone who has got a post postman okay. installed? Yeah. I think, I think uh, postman will already be there. Correct. Yeah, it's something which most of us use. Yeah. So any a, any volunteers who would like to step up and do it with Viragi okay. here? Uh Aditya, shall I do? Yes, you can share your uh, yes, video yes. and you can also help uh, Viragi guide you uh, step by step. Uh, if I don't show video, is it okay? Yeah, that's yeah. okay. And you can share your screen or whatever camera you beta, cam, camera is not required. Yeah, it's correct. Yeah. So, okay. So, this, okay. Uh, Avinash, if you have any API, you can go out with your API. If you don't have any API, let's use the Swagger, Swagger, let's... Fate APIs. Okay, Swagger, let me open that. If you want, okay. So, yeah. Arsh, can we make Avinash uh, uh, as a co-host? Uh, so yes, if... give me a moment. Yeah. Okay, I'll... if you guys want to see the slides, okay. <laughs> so you can go through the slides actually. Okay, it's just the screenshots, nothing else. Okay. No, no, no. So... You can go ahead and do it with Avinash. We would love that. Okay, no slides required. <laughs> Adi, I put yes, a lot I of effort with creating this slide. Well. So if you want, you can. We don't have nah, to no, find it. But since you, since you it. asked the choice, we said no. We, we are okay to <laughs> see it live. Yeah, obviously. I have so, given the rights to Avinash now. Okay, shall I share? Yeah, I'm stopping sharing. Bad camera. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah. So you can open Postman. It's okay. Okay. So I know I should import. Avinas, I can't see you. Is, is my screen is visible? Yeah, your screen is visible, but it's not moving. Nothing is opening. Can you open Postman, please? Yeah, is it, this is open. Are you able to see my screen? Uh, I, maybe you can unshare and reshare because for now we can see only the notepad file. Bairagi, that is correct, right? Yeah, correct. Or if you're using a secondary screen, you have to move your window to yeah. the first. Yeah, I think you're using the second. Okay, so nice. Shall I make it to first screen? No, 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 not required. We, I need only postman and... Uh, okay, let me give you the um, Swagger paid collection itself. Okay. Let me export the collection for you so that it will be easy. Export. Okay. Yeah, I'm pasting the collection here. Okay. 
you can get the file. Yeah. Avinash, I have shared a Postman collection uh, JSON file. Just export that one. It will be easier. Okay. Or else, I think we are going to spend a lot of time exporting those things. No, no. Okay, in the performance testing of this, uh, in this postman, it has two versions. One is paid one and one is free one. Okay. I'm just going to demonstrate about the free one. Okay. Because paid one also I have not explored 100%. Because I doesn't have a license. That's pretty normal. So, yeah. Import. Wait. I think you are experienced with this. Okay. Yeah, nice. So we have a create pet API. You have to get the pet API. Then there's the update and there's a delete. Okay, you can hit this APIs once, okay, to see if it is working or not. Can you please go to the body and see what other details you have given? Okay, uh, it's my name. Okay, fine. So we are able to create a this. Okay, you can get this particular ID. ID I think one one zero. One is there. No, it's category ID. The ID main ID 110. Ah, oh, 110 is there. Mm -hmm. In the response also, we're getting it. Yes. Yeah. Can you go to the get API? Next one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. You can change the ID if you want. Okay. So let's change it. Then. Yeah. Cool. No, hit, hit. <laughs> Hit that API if you want to change that once you have to hit so that it will be updated. You can change the name also. But I guess it doesn't look cool, correct. Now, yeah. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah, nice. So you can update the same thing by giving the ID. Okay. Okay. Shall we change this? Yeah, you can change to anything. I think it's done 200 we are getting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. So delete is like deleting that particular pet. You can delete 110. You have created triple one, correct? Yes. Yeah. So, shall we do that also? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. So it's deleted. Now click, uh, okay, to click on the Swagger pet folder or collection. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here you have to go to runs, run right side. You can see, no, share, fork, run. No, not at that right, little bit left. That run button is there. No? Yeah, there. Okay. I think my last uh, session on uh, ATGTR was to run this uh, thing, automate uh, these things with the postman. Okay. Now you have to just click on the performance tab instead of functional. Okay. Oh, you have to download the desktop app. Then it will not take too much time. That, ah, it will not take time. So basically, okay. Uh, when you are saying a performance testing, it's not just the load that you are putting on the server. It is, your machine needs to be that powerful to generate that much of load. Okay. So let me give you this. I've share, I'm sharing a link and it is open that one.
it's installing give it a little bit time it's windows okay installation just a done means meanwhile avinash can you open the link i have shared in the chat yes i think you have downloaded a wrong version or what is giving some error no installation has failed uh, this is i think my server is blocking it you can import that collection here correct yeah click on the folder yes which version you download uh, you have to go to the run nice oh oh i think you are you have downloaded an older version okay 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 let then uh, stop sharing right, i'm giving the i'm giving the link okay yes. Yeah. I've given another. I've given you even another link and open that link. Uh, I think it's it's very unfortunate. Uh, it's my yeah. network. I think your ISP is blocking this one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think I have to stop my screen. Yeah, stop sharing. I and try to install it. Meanwhile, I'll put some details. Okay. Uh, maybe I would recommend you can continue, Bairagi. That would be okay. 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 So simulate using okay. So as we know, there is like client server stuff. Okay. So in a performance testing, if you are putting a load on the server, okay, your machine need to be that much of powerful to generate that particular load. Okay. So in this particular postman uh, stuff, okay, we, if you have a uh, eight CPU core and sixteen GB RAM, you can simulate up to two fifty vital users. Okay. And if you have a 16 CPU and 32 GB RAM, you can go up to 500 users. Okay. So uh, as I'm running in a Windows system, which has a 8 GB of RAM, okay, I think I'm, I am I will not be able to generate much of the load. Okay. But yeah, we can go ahead and see how much load I can generate. Till now, I have tested with only 20 users. Okay. So let's see. So let me do a run here. Okay. So let me first uh, do it by ID only. Okay. So that we'll see how much it's taking. So uh, initially, so we have different, different setups. Like, okay, if you are giving a uh, virtual users, the 20 and all, okay. So there are two uh, profiles. One is fixed, one is ramp up. Fixed is like initially, if you are giving fixed, initial users will be 20 until the end of the run, the users count will be 20 and you can define the duration over here. Okay up to which so it's like is giving the preview here okay you can simulate 20 user virtual users okay by running this collection in parallel one minute okay for one minute time okay and this particular feature uh, data file you can give data so basically to give a particular data what you can do is like okay while creating this particular thing you can create uh, these as a variables okay so that variables that you can give there so that it will take those variables and run it. But uh, I think that was, I think I covered in the last uh, uh, session uh, in the GTR itself. So I'm not going in a variable mode. Okay. So we'll just uh, try to hit this particular API with a particular load. Okay. 
So initially I'm just going to give five users. Okay. And it will be a fixed one. So I'll just hit run. Okay. So if I'm meeting a run, okay, it's preparing to run. Let me open this one. So now see the CPU uses was here. It grows to hundred percent continuously. And my memory uses is 76% with only five users. Okay. If I would have gone for 20 users or something, it would have hanged. So it totally depends on your CPU, how much handle you, sorry, how much power it has and how much number of requests and load it can generate. Okay. So let me share a small experience of my, I was recently getting interviewed for a very big company. Okay. So that he asked like how much you have tested. Okay. Uh, how much load you have generated. Then I just blabbed like 10,000 RPS. Okay. So then he said like, explain me the architecture. And uh, then I realized, okay, you should not bluff. And I realized the testing is not just with function. I think Priya also told the same thing yesterday. Testing is not just functional integration and uh, automation. Okay. Performance has become a very big bottleneck or you can say a very crucial part of testing right now. Okay. Because uh, while doing this performance testing, you are scaling your uh, application, how much load it can take. Okay. The previous organization I was working with, I can't take the name. Okay. I think the maximum RPS they reach is like 100 RPS, okay, in that peak time. So it's not like you can generate a very good amount of uh, load and RPS uh, with uh, the your local system, okay. So uh, there are different architectures, okay. Uh, normally, I prefer uh, low cost for performance testing. Google has its own uh, Kubernetes engine for that, okay. It gives you load balancer, everything. It has a pure document, you can go through that. But when this comes to postman, okay, I won't suggest go for a very big or very huge load. Okay. Just test your, uh, just see, okay. RPS is like response per, sorry, request per second. How much request your uh, application and the server is capable to serve in that particular second. Okay. Yeah. So let me go back. Huh. Are you, are, I hate me. So now I think one minute is done and my system is start getting a little bit stabilized. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. One more chat. How do you auto scaling in the best way? Okay. How to do auto scaling in the best way using Postman? Okay. Welcome to that. Sorry. Okay. So this. This is the particular run. Okay. Let me see. So it is giving us the particular run, like it's which particular time, what was the average response time? Okay. And what was the number of users that was there at that particular time? Okay. So I think it was fixed. That's why the number of virtual users are constantly five uh, virtual users and the response time initially it, uh, it was like, uh, 2,500 millisecond. Okay. Then slowly it increased and decreased. It was fluctuating. Let's see the errors. Okay. At it, it was a get API, it didn't give any error. Okay. Now let's go for the reports. Okay. It 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 can give you PDF reports and HTML report. HTML reports are easy to share. So let's give a look on that thing. Okay, so so in folder. Okay, so this is the report. Okay. So I think the third time I've run it today. So it says like total number of users. Okay. When particular time you started, what are the profile here? Okay. It gives you the total number of requests it sent within that one particular minute. Okay. And what was the throughput of uh, this? Throughput is like uh, the uh, per second, how many requests it uh, fired. Okay. So what are the average response time? Okay. And it has this. Uh, uh, I think last session, uh, Manish said like what is 90th percentile, 95 percentile by giving a coffee shop example. This is the same thing. Okay. So this many things we got at 90 per 95th percentile and 99th percentile. Okay. So, yeah. And here's the throughput like at particular second, how many load it, uh, my machine was able to generate. Okay. So it is showing that particular details and it is giving request stuff and the response time for that particular request. Okay. 
now i'm getting a question give me a second what is the difference between rps and throughput is there any difference yeah like response per second throughput request per second okay so basically rps uh, used to uh, talk on top of the response from the server okay how many request your particular server or the application is able to serve okay in that particular time uh, on the particular second so that is the rps when i'm saying throughput it's like the particular machine that you are using how much load it can able to generate for that particular second correct i think it's a yes okay so now let's go to the next level let let me do it run again okay now we'll run it for the all the apis okay so that we can see some errors so now let's do it for 10 use 10 virtual users okay uh, finger cost i'll now do a ramp up so it will increase the load slowly slowly or else i don't think my system will be able to uh, suppress that much of okay let's start it so preparing to run let me see the CPU uses okay. It started giving 100% CPU uses okay. Memory is getting utilized 86%. Okay, I think I'm at my bottleneck. RIP my system, guys. You can unmute here, yeah. unmute and ask questions. Going to the chat is a pain for me at least. Okay, it's just a time. So let's see. Okay, CPU so started uh, adjusting with the load. Nice. And obviously, as it is not, um, achha, there is no code right need to write. Okay, there is no scripts involved. You can directly start using. I think recently we I suggested my developer. Okay, they were generating this uh, performance. Uh, so not generating actually simulating this performance testing by creating the parallel threads. Okay, and simulating that amount of uh, load. So I just told them this thing. So they were like very grateful. So you can suggest this particular tool to your developer so that they can do a performance testing whenever they are creating the the API in their local itself. So that before pushing to the QA environment, okay, they can get to know Akacha, there uh, might be some performance issue. Okay. So there are CLI part of this. You can integrate this one with Jenkins. Okay. But till now, I have not uh, used that one. Okay. Because you already have Locust and JMeter, which has pretty well. Okay. And uh, there are, okay, I'm spelling the merits. There are a lot of demerits also. Okay. See, when a particular RP RP RPS came, come into picture, na, okay. There are a lot of, mostly it's five types, okay. Like the response from server, okay. Like for example, for the client, how much time the client take time, okay. To reach to the server, okay. That is one RPS. There is another RPS called, okay. How much time the particular ap application took to res re respond that particular request, okay. So there are five different, different RPS, okay. And I don't think... Uh, Postman gives that level of details. Okay. I think you can use JMeter uh, and uh, Locust to do that thing. Okay. I have never explored that. So that is a demerit in Postman. Okay. But huh, without any coding knowledge, without anything, just getting the collection and run it. I think this is pretty great actually. Okay. So it's give a lot of power to a QA uh, to identify bugs and uh, uh, what slowness or laggy stuff in the in a particular application in a very early stage of development okay so it will save a lot of time uh, i think it's done wait and does it got home wait yeah so let me see there are some errors correct yeah there are 404 not found because the first hit itself the delete api would have delete that particular request correct so that's the thing Let's let's open the PDF report this time. Okay. 
रिफ्रेश कैसे होता है भाई ओके सो आई थिंक इट्स प्रेटी इजी करेक्ट टू शेयरिंग द स्टेक टू द स्टेक होल्डर्स सो द एरर रेट इज ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फोर फोर परसेंट ओके इट्स गिविंग द ड्यूरेशन नाउ एच विच पर्टिकुलर टाइम ड्यूरेशन व्हाट आर द वर्चुअल यूजर्स काउंट ओके सो द वर्चुअल यूजर काउंट इंक्रीजेस स्लोली स्लोली टू द मैक्स now we have the throughput similarly okay we have all those details now it is giving the uh, api level details okay so for this particular create pet api okay what was the response time average response time okay what is the time it took different differently okay so what was the 90th uh, 95th uh, those parameters are is also giving okay so it's uh, it's detailed level on the api level okay yeah so Error we got only for the delete API that was the four zero four not found. Okay, now let's get back to the postman. If you'll see here, we think we got everything. Okay, yeah. So it's pretty. It's visually also good, and uh, I think it's pretty easy to use. Correct. You can share. You can use it. Now, <laughs> let's get the get back to the slide. I don't think there is anything I've added. Okay. So, any questions? Yes, yes, I have one question. So, yeah. uh, how we do the master slave configuration means if we want to increase the number of users. So if our machine is only uh, thirty two GB, right? I seven. So, I think we cannot push more than uh, twenty of or twenty five uh, users. But if we want to. Put around thousand and two thousand. So those things, how we can manage? J meter can. Yeah, J meter can. I know that. Uh, I have never tried that thing in Postman. Okay, but uh, uh, see, I don't have a concrete answer on that thing uh, to take this. But huh, another thing, I think I missed. Okay, let me go to the run back. I'll tell you one thing. Okay. When you are going to the run, there are no. You can't do it by CLI. No, I think you can do it by CLI. Um. Okay. So I think I will get back to you on this. Okay, because I have never tried this uh, particular uh, master and slave approach here. I have done that with low cost. Okay, with that uh, uh, GKE, but. Yeah, obviously I can get to touch in with you, and I will tell you how you can do that thing. Okay. But on single machine, it was awesome actually. Yeah, actually I said na it's it's for the lazy persons. Okay, so I just wanted to do a little bit of performance and tell me show off uh, or tell the developer like there's a performance issue. Okay. See, I am I am using uh, Windows right now. When I had a Mac M1, I have tried uh, thirty users. Okay, and it was working on that thing. And you can uh, you increase the load uh, always, okay? So it's just like you have to create a shared uh, uh, mesh system, okay? You have to in uh, implement a little bit of infrastructure stuff, and it will take care of that thing. Okay? I think till now Postman has not reached to that level that it will give us the slave and master support, okay? But yeah, because in the, even in the premium features, it's just the uh, stuff like you can uh, put some data file and you can run it in your Jenkins. Okay. Yeah. Any further questions? Hi, uh, uh, Pracha here. Uh, yeah, Pracha. Uh, in this run option, I mean, uh, of course, we saw that performance option, and because we're talking about Postman, automating uh, through Postman and run on CI/CD, anything would you like to throw light on it? I mean, as you have used it extensively, so. Automating through Postman and. Uh, Running in CIC, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, give me a second. Let me share my screen. Sorry, I don't like my camera. It's too bad. Okay, so, bro, go up. Okay, so if you'll come to this functional, na? Okay, you have this option yeah. like run via CLI. Okay. 
So you can always do this thing. Okay, you can download the CLI stuff. Okay. And you have configured commands also here. Okay. So basically, if you have dif different environment, you can select the environment. Okay. And you can select your operating system over here. Okay. So I'm choosing here. And it will give you the pipeline script or it's a groovy script. Okay. You can copy paste this particular script and run it simple. Okay. They have you can say they have mostly automated all the processes. You have to just give the calculate the collection properly. Okay. Okay. So if I become very fast, okay, it's just mm -hmm. like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to go to the collection. Okay. You have to click on run. Okay. If not, then you have to click on option. Here the run collection option is there. Okay. Now it will be inside this functional. You have to come to the run via CLI. Okay. Then it will give, uh, because uh, whenever you are using this Postman CLI stuff, your all the case, uh, test case will be run in the Postman server. Okay. So they will be giving a Postman key. Okay. You have to add the API key over here. Okay. Then you can directly use this particular command to run. Okay. And it will run your collection itself. So every collection has a ID with that thing. Okay. This Swagger Pet collection has this ID. Okay. So it will run this ID. Or if you want to run it on CI CD, you have to click on that thing. You have to select the collection over here. Okay. Then say, see the CI CD provider. It has uh, all, I think all. Okay. Mostly we use Jenkins. Then select the OS. Okay. And you have to just uh, select the what? The, it will give you a uh, groovy script, basically a Jenkins file, you can say. Okay. You can copy it, paste it, and run it. Simple. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you change this drunk into Azure, so did that script uh, that post CLI command will change accordingly? No, can come again. I could not hear you. So like uh, I'm saying, like if we change CI CD provider to something like Azure, so the below command line our uh, uh, code is going to be changed yeah. accordingly. It is changing accordingly. Yeah. Okay. Guys, just seeing this looks like pretty uh, tough. Okay. If you start doing it, it's actually pretty easy. Okay. And it will save a lot of time. Okay. Any question? Did I become very fast for what? Questions? Please feel free to ask any question. Nope. So, yeah, I think Adi. So, hello. Yeah. So through Postman, right now uh, you are saying the load test is only supported. Other types of testing. Performance side, we cannot perform, right? No, till now, they have supported, at least in the free version, okay, they have supported okay. test only. Okay. So, maybe they are going to support the other type of testing. Have you, have you tried a kind of workflow where we are passing an external file as a JSON input to our APIs to run and then create the resources in the database and then again verifying the response? This kind of scenarios have you tried as part of this performance? I mean, how it is responding actually? Have you tried uh, that? Actually, I have tried once, but uh, as it is a premium feature, it didn't allow me to do much stuff. Okay. Oh, so I, I think you have to, it's a premium feature. Don't, it, they are just open for feedback. So it's late, It's not that much of uh, like uh, ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, we have to wait for the, it, It's just like six months old stuff. Before six months old, they have introduced this one performance testing in Postman. Okay. Okay. This and, is like, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, nothing. I was just saying like the day uh, I was about to submit the paper on ATA GTR, it was the previous day I have seen this uh, uh, what by the postman team. Okay. Oh, so, I see. So it was like in very early stage. Okay. So that's fine. Okay. Then, then experimentation is unlimited actually. I see. No problem. Yeah. Thanks. By the way, like apart from this performance uh, with the postman itself, have you tried uh, integrating with any uh, CI tool? Uh, see, if you will ask me from a uh, personal point of view, yeah, I've done it. Okay. 
but no organizational point of view nobody allowed me they, they are saying it's okay. like very premature stuff okay so as and most of the organization are ready already with their own framework like uh, maybe a hybrid one or a bdt stuff okay they are running it on that thing so why everyone is to move to the new stuff okay so it's a very tough to uh, convince the stakeholder on that thing let's move to postman stuff okay so personal stuff yeah i've tried it i've created a cli stuff i've created a jenkins job i've run it okay so got your point got it now my uh, previous question was you know like the intent behind asking is when we are having a complex scenario wherein you are passing an input data to get our post request mm -hmm. uh, post request primarily to external json file and then that is processing your data the output whatever is we are getting or the uh, uh, yes Why? output basically from the response xml you are passing that to some uh, the second query actually wherein uh, the on demand kind of jobs are getting triggered when this kind of uh, feature comes into picture actually uh, uh have you have you done that um, uh, what yeah you can do that thing actually. yeah okay. that is you what can do that the thing support is available because these are pretty uh, straightforward easy uh, queries to try out and definitely it has to give a support to them but when it comes to this complex workflows through postman yeah, actually in the complex support. stuff okay i think is there okay you can uh, write test scripts here okay as this right. is a javascript stuff now you can write yes. test scripts you can set that particular variable at the runtime also okay yes. so i think that is possible i have not done it that's a different thing okay if you want i can write a poc on that particular thing and i can share with you okay no no but you can do that you can always set a particular grower variable and all okay you can do that thing okay okay so, so it's like there is a so here after getting so basically here also it's like get a grow global variable yes, yes, yes. then set a global you can do that always okay yeah that that is there yeah no worries no problem then. Thanks. Thanks for again. Thanks for the input. Yeah. Welcome.